Hi, I'm Vanessa and welcome to the Crafty Gemini Show. I love being creative, whether in the kitchen, my sewing room, or my scrapbooking corner. I'm constantly coming up with new ways to express myself. We know how hard money is to come by in this economy, and trust me, I'm all about making sure every penny counts. So here's my invitation to you. Come join me on my mission to be creative on a budget. If you need a new tote, there's no need for you to go to the store. You can go right into your very own closet and pull the materials you need to make yourself one. In this episode, I'm going to walk you through step by step what it takes for you to go from an old pair of jeans to your very own upcycled denim bag, just like this one. The bag itself is made from the denim. You can also make the straps from the same pair of pants. Or, in this case, I used the waistline ribbing from an old sweatshirt. And I even used some cut up old felt and some leftover fleece that I had to make a little cupcake embellishment. The best part about this bag is that we'll actually be giving it away. So make sure you check out our website, log on to our blog, and sign up for our newsletter, and you'll find out what you need to do in order for you to win this bag. Alongside this bag, we'll also be having another giveaway of these little button earrings. I have these in every color. I make them for myself because they're great. You can match them with all your outfits. And the second giveaway is of the buttons, but guess what? I'm going to be giving away three pairs. I'm going to give away a baby blue pair, a pink pair, and a red pair of button earrings. So let's get started so I can show you how to make this and these. What you want to do is take your seam ripper and just start little by little taking off the threads either on the front side or on the back side. I finished cutting down the pant leg and as you can see since the pant leg is so narrow what I've done is we cut through there so you can now open it up and you have a wider piece of the same denim without having to sew too many pieces together. What you want to do now is flip to the wrong side of the fabric and you see how you have this thick seam right here down the center? I'm going to take a pair of scissors and clip this seam just to narrow it down so it reduces bulk when you're stitching there. Just like Now what we're going to do is we're going to fold this over about half an inch and press it in place. We got to hem the top line of the bag first. So about half an inch. Eyeball it. This is not a very precise project, okay? Just like that and pin it in place as you fold it and press it. I have this one pinned in place and I like to press it down just to make sure I have that fold nice and neat. Now you see that I'm ironing over my pins. These pins happen to be glass head pins. If you're using ones that the little ball is plastic, make sure you don't hit it with a hot iron, okay? You'll melt it. So now what I like to do is remove that pin and on the same fold line we're doing what we call a simple double hem. Right where that edge meets just refold it on itself and take that same pin and press it there and hold it in place. Okay, the same thing, I'll take this one out, fold that over, and repin it so that I make sure to keep that fold and I don't lose it. So continue to do that all the way down, and you're gonna do that to both of your fabric pieces. So we're stitching right alongside this line here because we want this to be nice and flat. Okay, if you pin, if you stitch down the center, this is gonna still flip up and you don't want that. So we're pinning it close to the edge, remembering to remove those pins as we get there and do this the entire length of the hem and on both of your pieces. Here are the two pieces that we've hemmed already. Notice I've only hemmed the top edge. There's no other edge on the fabric that's hemmed. Okay, just the top part. Next thing we want to do is to put the two pieces pretty sides touching. So this is the pretty side and this one. So I'm going to lay them on top of each other just like this. And now we're going to go ahead and pin. Now what you want to do is stitch all the way around where we've pinned and be careful and be mindful of the amount of bulk that you have here since we double hemmed that. What you want to do is, first of all, when you're working with denim, you want to make sure you have at least an 80-12 needle in here. I would recommend a 90-14 or even a 116. Those are bigger needles um, for sturdier fabrics, and that's what you want to be using with something like this, especially since we're going through all these layers of denim.
We've already stitched all the way around our bag. Now you can see here how much the denim tends to fray. We want to try to reduce that as much as possible. So if you have a serger, you would just have used your serger all the way around and that will take care of this fraying. But if you just have your basic um, home sewing machine, you want to use a zigzag stitch. Now I'm just basically going to zigzag across the edge as close to this edge as possible to keep that from fraying even more. So here's our edge. Now the next thing to do is to make your box corners so that the bottom of your bag has a flat finish to it. I put my hand in here, turn it sideways, okay. I'm going to pinch right here, try to match up this seam with this one as best as you can. And hold it right there so I make like a triangle point there. Now I take some pins and hold it in place. You see that's making a little triangle tip there in the corner. Hold this in place. Now I'm going to lay it on my table here and I'm going to take a ruler and I want to measure four inches. So on this ruler here's the zero and here's the four. Right there. Now I'll take something, you can use a pen, a chalk marker, a water soluble pen, anything and just mark that line. That's where you'll be stitching to make your box corner. So you see it's going to look something like this and when it's turned inside out this is going to give the flat bottom to your bag. Here's our first box corner. I'm going to line up this white line underneath my needle and I'll be stitching right on that line that I marked with just a straight stitch. Make sure to back tack at the beginning and at the end. So now your box corner looks something like this sticking up. Some people would trim it right there but what I like to do to add some extra bulkiness and firmness to the bottom of the bag, which in this case would help, is to tip it forward like this. I'm going to hold it there with my hand that's inside the bag. I'm going to pin it in place anywhere there, wherever I can get it to go through. Now I'm going to stitch and take a couple straight stitches right along the tip here to hold that in place. And in order to do that, I'm going to have to remove the basket from the back of my sewing machine. This machine allows me to reveal the free arm. If your machine doesn't allow you to do that, see if you can still get this to go over. If not, you may want to do it just by hand. Take a couple stitches right in that same place. So I'll slip it on, maneuver it into place, get that little tip right under my sewing needle. And I'm just going to take a few straight stitches forward and back. Okay. Here's the bottom of our bag with the two corners tacked in. Now, when we flip it inside out, just press out your corners like this with your hands and you can see that we have a boxed corner there. Okay, just like that. What I'm going to use is something that I had left over from a previous project. Now that I've cut the entire bottom ribbing apart down the center seam, I'm going to line up these two raw edges. And I want to find the exact half to make sure that my straps are going to be equal length and I cut it right down there. Now I have two straps. To attach our straps now, what I'm going to do is take from the edge here and measure two inches. Okay, so that's about right there. And do the same thing from this bottom edge, two inches. I'm going to go inside of the bag and I want to come at least one inch down from this hem because this is where I'm going to stitch it in place to make sure that it's tacked down nicely. So again, I'm lining up this edge with the edge of my strap and on the inside about one inch below this hemline. Lay this out so that it's flat, flat all the way, okay, and then come in and curve it. Or else you're going to end up with a crooked strap like this and there's nothing more annoying in the world, okay? To stitch down our straps, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my straight stitch on my machine and I'm going to stitch a rectangle. I'm stitching right alongside the bottom line of the hem, okay? You don't want to stitch over all that fabric. That gets even more bulky. So I'm going to stitch here, it's a straight line. I'm going to come down and around this way, so just like a little rectangle, all the way here on a straight stitch. Stop a little ways before the end and pivot and just go all the way around. So your tote bag is ready for use. It's completely finished. And if you want, you can leave it just as is, or you can embellish it any way you want with some beads, maybe hand stitch some buttons, paint, anything. What I happen to do to this one, what I'm going to do next is I cut out a piece of blue felt, baby blue felt, and a little piece of leftover fleece that I had for the frosting, and a little cherry on top from some red felt as well. And I'm going to stitch this down like a little cupcake. Thanks for joining us for this episode of the Crafty Gemini Show. I hope you enjoyed our environmental friendly project made of an old pair of jeans, upcycled, and some old scrap fabric. Make sure you check out our blog so you can find the latest details on how you can win this bag yourself. And that second giveaway that we're doing is on the button earrings. Remember, I'm giving away three pairs, a baby blue pair, pink, and a red pair. 
Thanks, and until next time, get inspired and be creative on a budget.